So today's story time is about my face. Y'all got like a glass of wine or something, go get your wine. If y'all folding clothes, this is like perfect for like you folding clothes or something, you just want to hear somebody talking, you know. You know what I mean? Subscribe because I'll be talking. Anywho. <laughs> see this all it is it's a lot of it cleared up but it used to like this was when i tell y'all this was like all here it was this whole this whole thing so a couple years ago um after i had my son i went through a lot with my weight like a whole lot um i was in like a heightened state of desperation to lose weight so i was you know google and stuff like that because again my fastest my best way to lose weight is fast my most favorite way to lose weight is fast and that is not the best way ever um if unless you want to lose like maybe like five pounds i feel like you lose that fast but anyway um so i had ran across like some ads about the fentermine pill so I was like, oh, Fentanyl, you know, okay. Um, read up about it and stuff like that. I was just like, okay. Um, yeah, you know, I'll try. I'll talk to my doctor about it. So I go to my doctor about it. And my doctor's like, you know, um, right now, your blood pressure is too high. Because at the time, I was overweight. I was still trying to deal with, you know, that baby weight was a beast. So um, my doctor was like, you know, you are, you're overweight right now. And your blood pressure is... You know, you're borderline because of your weight. So, you know, I don't want to give you these fentanyl pills. And the fentanyl pills um, have a tendency to raise your heart rate and stuff like that. And you're already overweight and all of this stuff. So, she's like, you get that down, you know, we can talk about it. So, I'm like, okay, cool. So, I went and did, what did I do? I did the intermittent fasting. That's what I did. I did the intermittent fasting. And when I did the intermittent fasting i lost weight and it also brought my blood pressure all the way down the way i was doing it was i was i was i would start i would eat i would have my first meal of the day at like one between like noon and one i would have like my first meal of the day and then i would eat stop eating at like say eight or nine o'clock and then i would get up the next morning and that's the, like what i would just do and that's how i was losing my weight but the the window that i would be able to eat um i was never really hungry so it wasn't like i was just stuffing myself from that that that, that space time that gap of time that i had to eat i wasn't i still didn't really have an appetite so i was just kind of like eating here eating there stuff like that it was just the weight was like Girl, we like it here. Like, it was not trying. They were, it, it was not trying to go. Like, they were not trying to go. Like, the pounds were not trying to go. So, um, I did the intermittent fasting, and I started to lose weight, and then my blood pressure went down. So, my doctor was like, okay, we'll start you with the fentanyl pills, which, you know, we're going to start you on a lower dose. Um, I'll put the dose somewhere up in here, because right now, it escapes me. So, um... I started taking the fentanyl pills. I got home. I was so excited about it. I'm like, oh my God, yes, I'm going to be able to jumpstart this weight loss. And then I can, you know, get into like different stuff and all of that. So I could just really get all of this weight up off of me. Because when I tell you my knees, my knees was sounding like some Rice Krispie treats. They were snap crackling and popping at all times. And I was like, I'm in my 30s. That should not be happening. Like I was like crispy in my like an early 30 bird. Like, why am I, why do I got granny knees? Like, I wasn't feeling that at all. So, I was like, okay, this is definitely going to help. So, I started taking the pills that next day because I wanted to start, like, on a fresh day when I didn't have anything, like, on my stomach or anything like that to make sure that the pill was working. So, I took the pill the first day. I, you took, I was supposed to take the pills twice a day. So, I took the pill the first day in the morning or whatever and i really noticed like no difference i didn't notice my appetite being suppressed or anything like that like they were saying i think a lot of that is mental and because i wanted to just like feel like i had no appetite and it wasn't happening i was like okay whatever maybe this dose is not high enough but whatever 
So I went and took my pill at that that evening for my second pill. So I took my two pills that day. Then I kept doing that every day for about like it's not like a week and a half after that week and a half i had noticed i started to get like breakouts and like first the breakouts started like right here they were like really fine bumps and so the breakouts would start right here and then they started to kind of like go here and then they went all over here and when i tell you guys by the time like i kept taking the fentanyl pills because they were they were helping they were helping suppress my appetite but i was still hungry y'all i was still hungry but i was like you know what this is better than nothing so i kept taking them i did not put two and two together with you know the fentanyl pills causing my breakout until like a whole nother week that i had been still taking the freaking fentanyl pills so that next week when i went through that next week when i was taking the fentanyl pills every day twice a day even on the weekends and um i just really noticed like i was washing my face I'm like what is this and then when i pulled my skin back and i saw like all of this y'all like my skin was never like this all of this on my forehead all of this right here like this my skin was never when i tell you guys never she was flawless i'm over here because i'm like we want to talk to y'all she was she was flawless I was flawless, y'all. I was flawless. She was cute. This skin was this skin was nice. This skin was loved. And you could see it. I'm getting up back there, but it's been a struggle. So my whole face broke out. So immediately, once I put two and two together after being on the medication for like a whole two weeks, I'm like, it's the fentanyl pill. So I got off the fentanyl pill, started drinking water, drinking water, drinking water to flush it out of my system. But the damage had already been done. And the bumps went away, but then now I'm dealing with the after effect of the dark marks and the scars and stuff like that, which is why I wanted to try the apple cider vinegar. You know, if you guys have not checked out my apple cider vinegar videos, go ahead and check them out. You know, shameless plug, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, um, I've been trying like for years. So like this is, this, this side is, is pretty much gone. When I tell you this, these sides were, I, when I tell you I was looking like... sir can you please can you please step this way sir like that's exactly how i was looking like i had like a whole goatee of bumps it was horrible and i'm still trying to climb out trying to find some decent skincare comment down below if you guys know like some decent skincare products that i can use to try to clear up these dark marks because the apple cider vinegar you know is it's doing a it's doing a little something something but the fact that I've been dealing with this for years, trying to just get this color back, and this color is has been so stubborn, like I am just over it. Um, I never went back to taking the fentanyl pills. My situation and my experience is not, you know, gonna be the same as anybody else's experience. Some people may have taken the fentanyl pills and it has really done marvelous things for them. I know the more you weigh, the more weight you lose, and the better that it works for you. But I didn't really I may have lost maybe like three pounds in that two weeks. So I guess that wasn't so bad. I mean, I lost some weight. Boy, if you don't. But I was expecting something a little bit more because of all the rave that was going on and the people that I was seeing on YouTube and stuff that were using the pills. Like they were getting really, really good results. But again, I also wasn't using the same um, dosage, thank God. Because if that lower dosage did that to my face. Jesus Christ. I, it, it probably would be way worse than this. So... It's a lot of people out here that are interested still in, in taking a fentanyl. I'm not trying to sway anybody away from it. I'm simply trying to, you know, tell people my story and let you guys know, like, for somebody that does not wear makeup, that was not up my alley. Like, that was not what was popping for me. To have my skin all bumped up and dark spots everywhere, and I do not wear makeup. Not only do I not wear makeup, but I do not know how to wear makeup. So it's not even a situation where it's like, 
okay, I wear makeup, but I don't like to wear makeup or like I know how to put makeup on. I just don't put makeup on. It's like I don't know how to put makeup on. So it's like you either go outside bumped up or you don't go outside. And those are my options. And when I tell you like it was rough, it was rough because I didn't have that, um, I didn't have that opportunity to wear makeup and to put some concealer on this. I don't know my color. I don't know what my color would be. I don't know if I should go aim for lighter, aim for, I don't know. So I just be rocking it. I'm like, whatever, bow, 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 you know? It's a, it's a, it's a shootout on my face, but it's okay because it's not going to be like that forever. And then I feel like if I put makeup on top of it, it might make it worse. It might make me have more breakouts or whatever. I don't know. But that fentanyl experience was for the birds, for me. I would never, ever go back to it again. Uh, you only got to take me through something like that one time. And that's it. That's it. So I will not be dealing with fentanyl anymore. I hope nobody else had an experience like I had. I hope everybody else had fantastically pleasant experiences maybe that was the almighty's way of telling me like that ain't the way you're supposed to be losing weight i don't know because i ended up losing the weight anyway it was just through a, a different way which was intermittent fasting maybe i should do a story time on that because that definitely opened up some stuff for me opened up a, a world for me but you know sometimes you know you learn stuff later on and it's like at least i know now so that's my um, story on my face. So now you guys know, like, if you ever look at my videos and you're like, okay, she got little, you know, dark marks. I know some people are very, like, meticulous about stuff like that. That is why I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress, just like I am. So, that's it, y'all. That's my story about my face, y'all. That's it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Until next time, that's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries. And always remember, y'all better go ahead and enjoy that journey. Oh,